Hey Cancer, how are you? It's me, Lauren B. Welcome to the Untitled Tarot. As always, Cancer, these readings are timeless. So when you get here is when you get here. And all 12 of the zodiac signs, they're all for you. They're all part of the collective story. So don't feel like married to just one zodiac. Um, your shuffle mancy was pretty interesting, Cancer. That song by Iggy Azalea Fancy came on. And it startled me actually because I didn't expect it for you. So you're feeling like pretty fancy right now. You're feeling pretty good. I just heard Papa's got a brand new bag. Um, or like something, a person, an opportunity, something's got you feeling like really fancy right now, but there's this energy of, um, regardless of what it is, love, business, whatever it may be, um, that it's like this, is this really happening to me? Is this too good to be true? Is this a trick? Like it's that kind of, that's like that kind of energy. Um, but then that song by Gwen Stefani and Eve came on let me blow your mind do you know that song don't fight that good shit in your ear let me blow your mind um and it feels like that's what like god that's what source is trying to say to you like cancer like let me blow your mind like let me pleasantly surprise you like does it sound good does it feel good does it seem right okay well don't fight against it like it's not too good to be true right i'm hearing like it's right on time it's actually right on time for you maybe you've been through a lot of seasons where things haven't really like panned out for you in love or in business or whatever it is that sooner or later like the pendulum has to swing in the other direction and it has to be your season for success like it has to be your season for love it's like now I'm hearing that song by the zombies it's the time of the seasons bow wow wow oh my god what's the what's that line what's your name who's your daddy that's so funny you guys are fun it's a different energy for you guys so uh, I'm gonna use the tear of the old path for you I'm gonna okay I'll take the, oh Okay, I have to pray. I have to pray because <laughs> these cards are flying out now. Father God, thank you for bringing me my cancers in today. I ask that you give me wisdom, clarity, and discernment to deliver these messages accurately in their highest of love, light, alignment, and assignment. We praise you. We love you. We thank and honor you always. To the utmost high, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, cancer. So, your first two cards that you have out are the Queen of Swords and the Lovers. And this came out two ways for me because this is the second time that I'm filming your video and I'll gonna, I'm going to get into that in a second. Um, the first way this came out was one, you almost being a little defensive of like the idea of love or being able to do something that you love. Maybe it's both, right? Sometimes when it rains, it pours. It's the idea of, no, it's too good to be true. No, logically, it didn't work out for me in the past. So, you know, it's not going to work out for me now. A little self-deprecating. We don't want to sit in that energy. But conversely, with this lavender in your hand, that does confirm that, like, it's a lucky time for you. They're actually showing me in the Spirit Animal Oracle deck, there's a rabbit card that says now is a lucky time. They're showing that to me. That might be confirmation. Maybe you guys, maybe you guys are going to see a rabbit and that's going to confirm it to you. Um, but it says that, no, it actually is a lucky time for this thing that you love or for this opportunity to love. And instead of being defensive against it, it actually makes more sense logically to actually defend it, defend your right to love, to do something that you love, to, to sit and joy, to be blessed. Right? Right. And the lovers, it's also a card of Gemini, which can be a little double-minded, right? The angel and the devil. So it's also saying, choose choose the inner angel, Cancer, right? Pick, pick a side. Pick the side of love. That like, sometimes it's not too good to be true. Sometimes it's just as good as it seems. And, and it's right on time. It's right on time. And you have the six of pentacles coming out next, which... I really love the six of pentacles talks about a reciprocal give and take, right? So again, maybe there are situations in the past where like you gave a lot of yourself to a job or you gave a lot of yourself to a person and, and you know, they took more than they gave. It, it wasn't equal. It wasn't an equal exchange of love, energy, effort. And so maybe you have this idea in your head that you're not valuable, right? That you're not worth the effort. You're not worth the compensation, that you're not worth the commitment from a business and an employer, uh, another person, right? And it's the idea of, you know, one, we had to work on your personal valuation of yourself, setting your own standards, setting boundaries, loving yourself, alignment, all of that stuff. So that way, when the right person, the right door opening, the right opportunity presented itself to you, you were in a vibrational alignment and also male or female harnessing this feminine energy, able to receive equality, right? equality and six of pentacles is also kind of a charitable energy which is the idea of people 
kind of giving to you or sharing with you um, for the sake of wanting to do it, not for what they can be compensated for in return. It's the idea of someone loving you or caring about you because they enjoy you because they they like your company they see your value not necessarily just for what you can do for them right and you have the chariot out next which is so perfectly labeled mastery in this card this this is a certain amount of um emotional spiritual maturity that you've mastered right the ability to to move forward but this is also saying that if you give if you invest in this forward movement, in this relationship, in this business project, whatever it is, it will take you farther than you thought. Again, it's a uh, almost that's it's like a double fold. Oh, maybe that's why you're having me film this twice. Maybe that's why. Um, as I started your video and then I, I got a phone call, it interrupted, um, and, and it made me very angry. Um, and then I had a film again that, you know, it's like the first surprise, because I actually wasn't even expecting to do you. I was going to do Aquarius first, but I was like, huh, Cancer. Okay, that's a surprise. Like, I, I didn't see this coming. All right. And now these cards are coming up. So it's like, there's something in that, that this situation is a little bit of a surprise. It's not too good to be true, but it is a little bit of a surprise. But how far you're going to be able to take it is like an added surprise like later on. But it's like if it'll work if you work it, if that's if that kind of makes sense to you a little bit. Now, there is this energy of like, again, protection and like defensiveness as well. So um, when the video got interrupted, I got like a weird phone call from I have no idea who and it, it like made me it like triggered me a little bit because I got I, I had a video um, interrupted earlier. And I was like, what is this? Right. And then I sat in that for a second and I was like, oh, I was like, that's like cancer shadow coming out a little bit. Because normally I wouldn't even care. Normally I wouldn't even care. But it's this energy of feeling like once you accept, that's what it is. Once you accept that this isn't too good to be true, this is for you. And there is like longevity in whatever this is, business or love, that all of a sudden you like, go into like super cancer mode which is like super protective like motherly it's like papa bear it's like that kind of thing it's like gonna guard it right like swords up swords up sort of energy because I think also what might be happening is when that call when my video got interrupted I realized that was my fault because normally I put my phone on airplane mode when I film right so that way there's a boundary there's a block so that way it can't be interfered with so again part of this defensive is defensiveness is that you might be afraid that someone or something might come in to like sabotage it, steal the opportunity away from you and you're trying to put safeguards up. Maybe you have an annoying ex. Maybe you have something weird, um, you know, in your in your record that that might, per, you know, prevent you from getting this job or, or whatever it is. Right. Something on your credit score that is going to prevent you from getting this loan it's that kind of idea of trying to put these safeguards up so that way no one or nothing can come in and like interfere with this forward movement that you're having in something that like has finally come through for you i just heard they better not show up whatever that means <laughs> seven of swords what did i just fucking say seven of swords this is like a sneaky sneaky card this is like a little trickster this is like someone like a thief in the middle of the night coming in trying to stir up trouble sneaky sneaky again it's this idea of trying to guard against sneaky sneaky energies it's like it's i keep hearing sabotage sabotage it could be like for some of you you could have like a petty ex that might like try and find the person you're dating online and like send them a weird message or you know what I mean or or someone that you used to work for like giving you a bad reference or trying to block your ability to get an interview like and I'm not saying that's what's happening I'm saying this is what you might be perceiving to be happening which is why you're trying to put up these safeguards against it because again like the way it is on my board it's like this it's like this seven of swords is almost like looking at you Right. And you're like, I'm not even going to look at you. I'm not even going to pay any attention to you. Like, I'm just going to block everything. I'm just going to, it's that kind of, uh, all the cards are falling on the floor. Two of cups, two of cups. So this is soulmate energy right here. So like I said, this is something that, wow, wow. How interesting. Okay. Okay. So I, I do the daily energy reach. You guys know that. And I did. This video is probably coming up. I did the reading today, which is Thursday, but your reading is going to come out on Friday because I'm pre-filming. Um, 
but th some of these cards came out today so that's that's really interesting and it was for the water sign so the two of cups is a soulmate energy right or if this has to do with work or something like this it's an opportunity a place of work or um uh, uh, an industry that feels like a mate to your soul like it feels like home to you right but with the lovers and the two of cups it does feel kind of romantic right so again worried that something sneaky or someone sneaky is going to come in and try and sabotage the soulmate relationship for you potentially with listen you have the four of rods traditionally the four of wands it's a union card it's like a marriage card again with this chariot and the six of pentacles it's like this longevity sort of energy it also talks about foundation foundation with the page of swords which is having like clarity and again very defensive it's like being very defensive so because again this is it feels like something that's kind of newer that's coming in opportunity or a person relationship that i think you realize that whatever this is still needs again you have to work it for it to work that it's the foundation is still being built and you don't want anyone to come in like when you're still basically like laying concrete trying to build like a house of stone as opposed to a house of guards cards and start messing with it before it's like solidified before it's stable before it like can stand on its own two feet it's that kind of thing I mean, like before we even get off the ground i don't want them in to come in and mess with it before it even gets off the ground and these mushrooms in your hand those are very symbolic of protection but it's also symbolic of psychic protection so if anyone's like thinking any like petty little thoughts or whatever that may be this is also indicating that you are already aware of that but you are psychically spiritually energetically protected from that it's the i'm rubber and you're glue type of spiritual mentality right that anything that anyone's projecting at you it's just bouncing right off and it's just sticking to them right so you don't really have to stress about it too much okay there's a card that flipped over and i didn't notice it five of rods yeah so and this is what you're looking at the five of wands talks about like competition it talks about um like ego battles pettiness gossip like all of that kind of stuff all of that and that's what you're being defensive of people coming in gossiping also there, there might be an energy of like perceived competition as well some of you might be nervous that this opportunity might got might get taken from some taken by someone else before you have a chance to like solidify it and I don't know if that's true because it feels more like a projection honestly because these people look like they're so busy like fighting amongst themselves that they almost don't even realize like what you're doing over here because again it's like these swords people it's like their mouths aren't open they're not talking it's again it's almost like very kind of closed-lipped a little bit so I don't even think necessarily people even know really what you're doing. They're so consumed with their own like low vibrational stuff, honestly, that I think you're good. I think it's probably fine to be like aware. This nine of, okay. The nine of rods wants to come out. Now, um, the nine of rods talks about like a wounded warrior type of energy. And perhaps in the past, some of these people, yeah, maybe some of these people that you're concerned about are people that maybe interfered with things for you in the past and you're just wanting to make sure that they don't come in and do that with this situation right because this is the wounded warrior so maybe these people like messed with you in the past interfered with something but this is also you standing your ground like being defensive like you still have it in you for one more fight right and again it's like very defensive it's like looking over your shoulder it's like if they even try it if they even try it and it's over a star which also i believe came out in the reading today it did and we had the knight of swords in the daily reading today but it hasn't come out here yet but this is one this is aquarian energy and we're in aquarius season now so this feels like a kind of on uh, on time it's a timely message it's a timely message so it's funny um but the star is also something that you wish for right like you make a wish on a star but it's also north node energy and north node is like your future it's like your destiny again it's the idea that this opportunity this this job this person like this is this is part of my future this has longevity this is what i've been waiting for this is the foundation the soulmate the love the the equality the movement that i've been wanting right this is what i was hoping for and i'm not going to let anyone come in especially not these people that created issues for me in the past 
It's that kind of thing because I know what they're like. But again, there, there is an energy that they're they're busy doing their own low vibe stuff. I just heard dick measuring. They're just they're busy dick measuring so that you don't even have to worry about them, really. And what's for you? It's also important to note that what's yours, what's meant for you, can never be taken from you. Your destiny never passes you by. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because they want to put it underneath the five of rods. These people aren't like working on on sabotaging your stuff. Again, that just feels like a projection a little bit. But I, and I just think it's because this might have been something that you've been like waiting on for a long time. And when it, it starts to come in, you're like, I don't believe it. And then when you believe it, you're like, oh my God, now I have to protect it. Again, it's like this bear. Maybe a bear is like your animal totem that you're harnessing right now. But it's like this bear sort of protect the cubs like kind of energy. But again, it's like these people are so busy. They're not working on like hunting you down or hunting this out. I also heard they're not that organized. Maybe you thought there was going to be like some kind of coup at work or something. But they're, they're saying they're not that organized. They're also telling me it's like don't spend so much time and energy worrying about if anyone else is going to come in and like interfere or sabotage it. To do that in, in and of itself would be a way of almost you sabotaging it by not investing enough energy into this thing. Worrying about like someone breaking in your house more than enjoying living in your house. I don't know if that makes sense. Seven of rods. Again, a lot of defensive energy here. Just like, they're not going to take my shit. That's fine. Nobody's, nobody's taking your shit, Cancer. This is a person, you're fine. If this is a job, like, you're good. Like, it's yours, right? This is also, oh, that's funny. Oh, this is, you're, you're coming in through a little funny. I knew this was going to be a funny read when Iggy Azalea came on. Um, this is you, like, almost, like, asserting, male or female, this is you, like, asserting your dominance because there's, like, a lot of, male or female, you're harnessing a lot of masculine energy, right? That's really interesting. And there's a lot of wands. We are in, uh, we, we're just in an Aries moon and we're coming up to a Leo full moon. So, okay, right? But is it you like almost like stretching your, like almost like asserting your territory or like your dominance over an area? And, and I, I pulled new cards for you, but in your first spread, the emperor in reverse came up too, which is like a very like domineering sort of energy. And it doesn't feel like you're trying to be like, a tyrant but it just feels like you're you're asserting your territory you're asserting your dominance it's like this stretching right with this fence like on your side of the fence ten of rods ten of rods that's interesting yeah it wants to come out underneath this five and this three of pentacles in reverse like i said these people they're just busy maybe this is just energy too that you're perceiving like devil energy or low vibe energy like something like that but whatever it is again they're so busy fighting with each other and they're so busy getting caught in their own webs that they've woven that they don't even have the time or the organizational skills to to work on that to work on getting to you and you're so protected and guided with these with these arcana cards these major arcanas that you're don't don't stress again it's too much time trying to be defensive and not enough time planting seeds i wouldn't be surprised if the seven of pentacles came out planting seeds in this two of pentacles trying to find balance it's like the struggle with the juggle uh, they're pointing out to me that he's got bare feet so there might be a need to ground your energy as well because again it's like this heated it's like this fire energy it's like I'm a bear stay away from my cave that it's like you might just need to ground some of your energy you might just be like just harnessing a lot of masculine energy right now the sun represents masculine energy whereas the moon represents cancer represents feminine energy that might be why you're you're feeling maybe a little unbalanced because you went from like I don't think so to oh my god yes it's happening to oh my god I have to protect this to like oh my god look at them it's like just balance. Don't struggle with the juggle. What's yours will always be yours. Just balance it out. Ground your energy a little bit. Yeah, and it, you know what it is? I think it's a, it's a reactive thing for you from, from situations you dealt with in the past. Like we were talking about that. Maybe in, in at past jobs or, or old relationships, you felt a little cheated out. Maybe you got cheated on. Maybe you um, invested a lot into a situation or a person that kind of took more than they gave to, right? Because there's the, the Ten of Swords, which represents backstabbing, betrayals. And then the King of Cups, which in reverse really talks about being kind of emotionally shut down, right? That 
those situations, however they played out for you, really felt like like a stab in the heart, like a stab in the back. And then you kind of had to shut down emotionally and weren't able to open yourself up to the idea of success or to the idea of love or being successful in love, right? And, and so now that this thing has come up and, and you finally are open and opening up, there is also an energy that maybe what you're fighting is a, a, a conflicted feeling about being vulnerable, that the vulnerability that this is requiring of you, right? Um, makes you feel a little nervous. It makes you feel a little scared, which is totally normal. So, but instead of sitting with that feelings, being like, I have to be vulnerable right now. The last time I was vulnerable, I got really hurt and then I had to shut down. And so I'm a little scared now, but I am really excited. So I'm going forward. It's just, you just have to turn that in and just process. You just have to process some of those emotions a little bit. That's all. That's all. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's a Ten of Cups in reverse too attached to this. There was another situation in the past that you thought was going to go the long haul, but it was not emotionally fulfilling in some aspect. Again, because... It wasn't equal. There wasn't an equal exchange here. And that made you feel betrayed because you put so much time, energy, love into it. And so then you almost had to shut down, go into like your little, your little crab shell, right? But the Ace of Pentacles tells me that, again, this is, that's so funny. Thank you guys. That's so funny. Um, that the Ace of Pentacles, it's a new opportunity to plant a new seed, start a new foundation. It's like I was saying, you were laying concrete, right? This is like the foundation, it's like a house, right? That gets that's get built and they put it on the little things. But remember, I was like, I wouldn't be surprised if the seven of pentacles came out. The six plus the ace is the seven of pentacles. This is something new and good to invest in. So just you're over the past, it seems like, but the level of being vulnerable of it might happen again. It's not going to happen again, it seems. Don't project that onto this new situation that has like nothing to do with the old situation because the last song that had come on your shuffle mancy too was uh this song by bethel music um it's called raise a hallelujah right it's like don't be offensive don't be afraid to be vulnerable process those emotions be present with yourself don't abandon your own feelings but no like let god pleasantly surprise you multiple times over right it's your season for whatever this is and you should be really happy just say thank you raise a hallelujah and then go and enjoy it don't be just enjoy it okay all right, so I'm going to go around the page and I'm going to keep pulling cards for you to see what else I can uh, I can see if we can get you a little bit more guidance. Um, the link for that will be in the description box. It is all of the extended readings to so all the weeklies and it has all of the monthly readings for January. Those were very nice. Um, it also has the links to my email for private readings, my social media links if you want to follow me over there, and all the decks that I use on the channel in case you want to get them for yourselves. And until I see you next time, Cancer, I love you. Stay prayed up. Stay blessed, stay sweet, stay happy, enjoy yourself. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.